Hey YouTube, I'm back again with another pickups video. Just want to show you some uh, Blu-rays and DVDs that I've picked up over the last few weeks. Um, these are all from out in the wild, from various places. Um, so let's start off with some DVDs. Firstly, we have Clock Stoppers. Um, I picked this up from one of my local charity shops for 99p. Uh, it's a brand new factory sealed. Um, I really do like this movie. Um, even though it didn't do well when it came out, I think it's it's really underrated. It's just a good, fun, action, sci-fi film. Really enjoyed it. Uh, next, of the TV series Dead Set. Um, this was uh, from CEX, £2. Um, I watched this show when it was originally on TV. Uh, and really liked it. It's uh, written by Charlie Brooker. And it's pretty much a zombie TV show set around uh, a fictional um, Big Brother TV show uh, in which there's a zombie outbreak but of course all the people in the Big Brother house have no idea what's going on in the outside world until the, of course all hell breaks loose on eviction night. Um, yeah, really, really good fun. And the usual comedy you would expect with uh, something from Charlie Brooker and still quite dark. Um, so next we have a couple of TV box sets. Um, again from CX. Um, this is Lex. Series 2. Volume 1. And Lex. Series 2. Volume 2. I already have volume 3 and volume 4 so this, this completes uh, series 2 for me. Um, still only have half of series 1 and I don't have either series 3 or series 4 yet but this was a this was a weird show from back in the mid to late 90s I think. Um, in fact it must have been the later 90s because it was on, I'm pretty sure it was on channel 5. Channel 5 didn't start until 1997. Um, but it was, yeah it was really really strange but uh, and very cheesy but uh, yeah a lot of fun I do remember it quite fondly so once I get the rest of series 1 I'll be looking forward to checking that out uh, right next um, three titles that came from Market Stall uh, I had these up for £2 each or three for a fiver so three for a fiver I had to grab three items so firstly I picked up King Kong. Um, this is one again I already own on HD DVD, but as I'm collecting the uh, Universal Augmented Edition 100th Anniversary Blu rays, uh, slipcover editions, this is another one I had to pick up, especially at £2, uh, which brings my total now to seven. I'm not sure how many there are, I think there's somewhere between. 10 and 12, maybe 13 or 14, I don't know, but there's somewhere on that number, so I'm probably halfway there to collecting the set, although there's, there are some in the set that uh, I really have no interest in watching, but uh, if I can pick them up at sort of this kind of price, then I'll, I'll buy them just to complete the set. Um, so yeah, uh, and then the other two, for that three for a fiver, is uh, I feed his own pet, a complete series three and complete series four uh, i already have the classic series series one and two uh, from the 80s these came out in the, the early 2000s and sort of brought it back after i don't know 15 16 years something like that um and i think there's a there's a final one after these which i don't own as yet the um the bridge on the River Kwai, I think it was called something similar to that. But yeah, these these uh, certainly series three is fantastic. Series four, I saw the one time when it was on telly, so I'll definitely look forward to watching that one again. Well, both of them, but uh, three I've seen a few times. Four I've only seen once. Uh, next, these both the next two came from Tesco's. Um, just before Christmas they had their uh, double up your points, club card points scheme on. Um, 
so you can if you've got whatever number of points um, you can double them up in uh, lots of five pounds worth so if you've got five pounds double to ten ten pounds double to twenty and so on um, and I have 19 pounds worth of points but you can't double up 19 you can only double up 15 so 30 quid's worth of points uh, got me insurgent uh, slip cover edition I guess it's not going to come out I think it's the same cover underneath here um, I've seen Divergent um, really enjoyed it so I'm definitely ready to uh, watch this one uh, I also picked up Mad Max 3D and this little cover um, saw this in cinema and really really enjoyed it I only saw it in 2D in the cinema uh, I watched this the other day in 3D um, Again, it was an awesome movie, but the 3D, I don't know whether it was just the fact that I was so engrossed in the film. Um, as, it, as it started off, the 3D was really, really good. Some films I have in 3D, it's terrible. You can you, you hardly notice it with this, it was really good. But uh, I, don't know, I don't know how long, half an hour, maybe 45 minutes into the film. Um, it wasn't until close to the end it dawned on me that I'd totally forgotten that I was watching a 3D movie and there was just no standout 3D moments at all uh, and, and until uh, something happened in the end there was a big explosion and a whole bunch of items came flying towards the screen um, so yeah they, I, I'll have to try it again in 3D and see if I, I missed anything maybe I was just so engrossed in what was an awesome film that they uh, you just forgot that they were watching a 3D movie. I don't know how that's possible, but uh, that's what seemed to happen. Anyway, definitely recommend this. Mad Max it was uh, an awesome film. Right, uh, this last lot, I think, are all from CEX. So we'll just go through these. Uh, in the blood i have no idea what this is i've never seen it but it uh, stars the ever gorgeous gina carano so i thought i've got to give it a try uh, and it was only a quid so next true grit um i did see this when it first came out and uh, really enjoyed it uh one pound fifty triple play and still had a valid itunes digital copy which uh, I was very surprised because this film must have been three or four years ago this came out on Blu-ray so it's uh, yeah, to it still have a valid iTunes digital copy was uh, really good uh, next <laughs> Piranha 3D for a quid uh, watched this just before Christmas and uh, yeah really enjoyed it I'd, uh, I'd never seen either of these Piranha movies before um, but yeah, that was really good. And of course, to get one, I had to get the other. Piranha 3 Double D. Um, still haven't watched this one yet, but uh, I'm definitely going to watch it soon. Uh, next, we have Goldfinger. This is um, another one for my uh, James Bond slipcover collection. Of course, they've reissued all these now with new artwork, haven't they? So, it's probably going to get harder and harder for me to complete this set, but uh, how many have I got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is number eight, so there's still uh, quite a few left for me to get in this set. Next we have Modern Family, uh, third season. Uh, this this show's really, really funny. Uh, I've got season one. I haven't got season two, but uh, three pound. Uh, to pick up season three next no nothing about this at all it was 50p night of the dead um yeah can't see more than that give it a try uh, x-men first class triple play that was one pound fifteen and amazing spider-man i already own amazing spider-man on steelbook um 
but I didn't have the digital copy, which is not the reason why I bought this. I bought it because it was a 3D Blu-ray, but as it turned out, the digital copy, again, was still valid. So, bonus. Uh, and finally, for this lot, I have Cloud Atlas. Uh, I really like this film. I think it's awesome. Uh, this is the cover edition. Again, had a valid ultraviolet digital copy in there so that was a bonus £2.50 with a slip cover I think that was a bargain right so that's it for this lot uh, I think I've got one more video to do with uh, my December pickups so thanks for watching this and I'll see you again in the next video cheers Bye.